Okay, Katie Frowfoot. It is stated that the two aunts and the niece said that they all went with you together to get groceries that day. Now, did you get groceries after you ate or before? I would doubt it would be before because you wouldn't leave your groceries outside. But the aunt had stated that she went to the grocery store with you, got groceries, and y'all left to go home to put the groceries up. BJ's has to have surveillance cameras and can pull that up. Do you have a receipt? Did you pay with cash? Did you pay with a debit card? Gives a timeline. What did you buy there exactly? Did you buy supplies that would look like a multitude of supplies in case you were stashing Sebastian somewhere? Because, see, my theory is the court date was coming up for Chris's uh, custody battle. And you didn't need Sebastian to tell what had happened to him. So you figured, okay, well, we'll just do this. This is an opinion. We'll say he's missing. We'll stash him somewhere. And I'll get custody of my daughter, Faith, is what Chris is thinking. And then we'll have Sebastian miraculously reappear. But you didn't think it would catch fire. You didn't think the people cared enough about this case. Every case that a child is missing. So... When did you go to that store? What did you buy at that grocery store? Because you would have proof of it. You paid cash, the store would have proof of it. Simple. You paid with a debit card, your bank card would show it. But what exactly did you buy at the grocery store? Country crazy out.